Recently I did this video, Watch Me Control You, where I said that I was going to try and manipulate you to do something. This video is the reveal. If you haven't watched the first video, you should go and watch that first. Here's the link. So just before we get stuck in, I would like to thank the sponsors of today's video, Zoatech Monitors. Zoa are a relatively new company that has just released a game-changing array of monitors available in sizes from 22 up to a massive 86 inch, also available in ultra-wide versions. Zoa are turning the market upside down with massively high refresh rates and minuscule levels of latency they are perfect for all uses from home business presentation office use and even professional gaming all of their monitors have an amazing color range that they've coined btl better than life imagery what's more every single one of the zoa monitors are touch capable with configurable sensitivity this means that the Zoe monitors can not only be used for display, but also real-time control and interaction. That's right, real-time. Responses from users can be sent back to central servers for collation and data processing. A real game changer. Using this code, YT Mr. Sensible, Zoa are offering a massive 10% cashback on all purchases. You just need to send your proof of purchase together with your code to ZOA for 10% cashback. Nice. This is all very well if you are in the market for a new monitor, but ZOA didn't want to stop there. They wanted to bring their technology to a much wider market. Their team has developed software that allows any MP4, AVI, WMV, and in fact most video format files to be post-processed, allowing BTL touch technology to be applied. They are the very first and indeed only tech company to provide this innovative proprietary service. You're going to see it everywhere, including in this very video. Massive thanks to Zoatech for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out. So the watch me control you video and the reveal. During the video, I talked about many things, including subliminal messages. I showed this clip with some subliminal messages in place and also discussed how, upon investigation, it appears that that sort of attempt at control has been found to be a total waste of time. I also talked about how manufacturers really work hard on their imagery, anything to engender a good feeling about the company or to help sell their, their core values. I talked about Baskin Robbins logo, FedEx logo, Tostitos to tortilla chips, and indeed Amazon, and the way that their logos will help persuade you that they're a good company, that they have values that you want to share with them. We also looked at how the manufacturers follow that maxim, sex sales, both to attract men and to attract women. And we also covered product placement, things like Ross with his can of Coke and the Blues Brothers mentioning Oldsmobiles. So all those techniques by advertisers, each are a little bit of persuasion they all over time add up to hopefully make you do something. Now in the CIA report about subliminal messages, they had concluded there is no way of affecting the action without awareness and without tripping off defenses and rational resistance. Basically, the more obvious you make something, the more likely someone's going to rebel against it. And at the beginning of the video, I had said this, in this video, I will manipulate you. Let's see if I can. So I was setting myself up for a big fat fail because the first thing that people are going to be looking out for are any persuasive techniques I might use. Hmm. I did notice in the comments that several people wondered if the thing I was trying to get you to do was to make a comment or to subscribe to the channel. If you're not, that would be nice or to even take part in the voting. However, I was very clear at the beginning when I asked people to vote that that was not the thing I was trying to get you to do. And at the end, when I talked about voting again, I prefaced it with this. Now this experiment is over. And indeed the experiment was over at that point. We'll come back to that in a moment. First, let's have a look at the voting. So here is the poll. Did I get you to do something? A, I saw it the first time I watched. You didn't get me to do it. B, I saw it when I rewatched. 
you didn't get me to do it. C. I saw it when I rewatched. You did get me to do it. And D. I watched several times and have no idea what you did. Whether I managed to persuade you or not doesn't really matter. This was all for fun and it was quite interesting. The correct answer is if I succeeded, then you answered B, C, or D. I got you to re watch the video. Let's have a look at a few comments. Yes, you got me to watch a second time. Beyond that, nothing that I'm aware of. So it looks as though I got Mr. Sponge Joe. Mr. Now Pinion said, OK, so me and Little Miss Now have only seen it once so far. I guess we'll have to re watch it because we didn't notice anything out of the ordinary at all. I'll chalk that one up as a win as well. Mr. Michael Toomey said, just watched once. I didn't see anything and I didn't do anything. I guess Jedi mind tricks don't work on Michael. Belvedere said, I think it's A. I saw something the first time I watched. Not sure if it's the thing you were talking about. It didn't make me do it because it's already done, if that's a thing. Damn. But then he went on to say, watch for a second time to see if anything else popped up. Didn't see anything else. Hope this has answered or given you enough data to change my answer if I'm wrong. Oh yeah, that one's a win. Son of a... You got me to rewatch. Oh yes, stop faking. These aren't the droids you're looking for. However, that's just a few comments at random. Plenty of people realised what I was trying to do. So the question is, for those that did get persuaded to watch it again, how did I persuade them? Were there any subliminal messages popping up? No. Any flashy logos, colour-coded, to make you want to watch again? No. So what did I do? Well, during the entire video, I did absolutely nothing until the end when I said this. So persuasion, advertising, subliminal messages. Very interesting subject. At the start of this video, I said that this video would manipulate you, that I would get you to do something. I wonder if I have. Did you spot it? Could you tell you were being manipulated? Did you see what I did? Were you able to see how I forced you to do something? So through the whole video, you were expecting me to try something on, to try and trick you or persuade you. So I didn't. I waited until the end when you thought it was all over. And then I raised the expectation that you had missed something. So you went back and checked. It's called FOMO, the fear of missing out. And advertisers use that sort of trick all the time. Well, I thought this was fun and quite interesting. Unfortunately, my plan for a nice neat vote didn't go very well because the pinned comment with the poll became unpinned. And by the time I'd pinned it again, there were votes all over the, the, the list of comments. Never mind. Fortunately, today's video is sponsored by Zoatech Monitors and their touch technology. The MP4 for this video was post-processed using Zoa software. So let's find out. Were you a weak-minded fool that I managed to persuade to watch the video again? Or are you a clever sausage who didn't? Just vote here. Touch the correct option. Take care. See you all again soon. Stay sensible.